dope in the earth. Magma. A fiery mixture of liquid rock and gases produced deep beneath the Earth's surface moves buoyantly upward towards the Earth's crust until it finds a weak spot and breaks through in a brilliant and blazing display. Once on the surface, magma is known as lava. A typical eruption begins with pressurized fluid lava bursting through cracks or fissures that can be a mile or more in length. As portions of the fissure become clogged with cooling lava, eruptions become restricted to individual vents. Gas-charged lava sprays high in the air. As it cools and solidifies in flight, it rains down as cinders, eventually forming a cone. As the gas content of the lava decreases, cone building gives way to the slow and steady outpouring of molten lava flows. There are two main types of lava flows found at craters of the moon. The most common type is known as pohoihoi, a Hawaiian word that refers to lava that flows as a liquid with a smooth surface. Pohoihoi often exceeds temperatures of 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. When lava descends a volcanic slope, it slowly moves forward in what looks like a mass of broken rubble. This kind of lava is known as a'a, another Hawaiian word that refers to lava that is rough with a broken surface. As air cools the surface, causing a lava flow to harden, lava tubes form. But below the surface, the lava remains hot and continues to flow, sometimes for great distances. Eventually, the river of lava drains from the lava tube, leaving a hollow space or cave. Lines on the cave wall represent the changing levels of lava as it flowed through the tube. Frozen drips of lava remaining on the rooftop suggest the tremendous heat that was once present here. When the roof of the lava tube collapses, it reveals hidden passages. Their beauty and serenity stand in contrast to their fiery origin. When the eruption begins to lose its force, the remaining lava sporadically plops to the surface, accumulating around the vent, forming features called spatter cones, an event signaling the end of the eruption sequence. The spatter cones at Craters of the Moon are some of the best preserved examples in the world. But they are steep-sided, delicate, and vulnerable to damage. While volcanic rock may seem solid and indestructible, it is actually quite brittle and easily broken. Please safeguard these fragile geologic features by staying on the trails and leaving all natural objects as they are found. While they seem impervious to time, the volcanic features are being transformed by geologic and natural forces in the distance, older formations are slowly being reclaimed by vegetation.
Eruptive sequences have occurred here many times over the past 15,000 years. All of them shaping the otherworldly beauty of craters of the moon. As you explore the shadowy passageways of a lava tube cave, or contemplate the beauty of a massive cinder cone, consider the powerful forces still at work deep inside the Earth's interior. Imagine the magma rising at this very moment, seeking a crack in the Earth's crust to release the mounting pressure. Then these sleeping volcanoes will reawaken, altering this dynamic landscape once more.